guys, it's Angel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is highly requested by many of you guys and it is a how I edit my Instagram photos. Before we start, since this is an IG related video, I'm going to plug my Instagram. So if you guys are watching this, make sure to follow me on my social media. It's just at Angel Siciliano. And here is a very special announcement, you guys. I'm actually opening my clothing shop on Instagram. It's called The Revive. I'll be selling vintage, thrifted, and reworked items there. As you guys may know, it's always been a dream of mine to own my own clothing brand. So this is a baby step of achieving that goal. So if you guys have the time, please go follow The Revive and I will be opening that shop on June 1 so make sure to check that out I would really really appreciate it anyways I won't make this intro any longer let's just get right into the video so let's start this video by showing you guys my feed and as you can see it's not that perfect I mean I don't really have a specific theme I love posting like outfit photos, travel photos, and some detail pics. And by detail pics, those are the photos that I used to fill my feed. For example, like this photo. Yan. And also this photo. Um, and sometimes this photo. So those are like the detail pics, my so-called detail pics. So first for equipment, I usually use my phone. I just have an iPhone 6s Plus and pasukong pasuko na tong phone ko guys, oh my god. And sometimes I also use my camera. I have a Canon 60D with me. I usually take shoots with my friends and usually during this quarantine, I've been taking a lot of self-timer pics. So I do usually have my own photo shoots here at home. So now let us talk about the apps that I use to edit my photos. First will be Lightroom CC and I've been using this for quite a while already. I mainly use this to color grade my photos. If you don't know color grading, it's basically like changing or modifying colors in a photo. So nagkaroon ng time guys, so sobrang in ng pagka-color grade sa Lightroom and I was definitely one of those people na naging obsessed doon. If you go down sa feed ko, makikita nyo doon na eto guys, ayan. Sobrang hilig ko sa color grading and before, I used to love blues, and then the karon ako ng time na I loved oranges. Okay, guys. So for color grading my photos, I don't really have a specific way of doing it. Um, I just base it and eyeball it on the colors present in the photo that I'm editing. So now you'll see me editing the red, and now you'll see me editing the orange basically just eyeball it and i usually edit the orange part and the yellow part as well so for yellow i usually um, pull down the saturation i don't know why i just like doing that especially when i have a plain background in my photo and then i move on to the detail part of Lightroom and I increase the noise reduction a little bit as well as the color noise reduction and sometimes I like to sharpen the photo a little bit so now you'll see me with the before and after of the photo as you can see it's very natural now. By the way guys, I also use Lightroom to soften an image and also correct some noise. Noise? I usually use the noise and color noise reduction feature just like what I did in this photo. So next app that I use will be Visco and this is a very well-known app. I'm sure you guys have used Visco at some point in your life already. Some photos, if I like to put a little bit of filter, this is the app that I use. I just sometimes love putting a little bit of filter, especially sa travel photos guys. And these are some of my favorite favorite filters to use in Visco. So for Visco guys, some of my favorite filters are the following. Right here, I'm using the A4 filter and I love the warm tone vintage effect it gives in the photos. And I usually put some grain in my photos whenever I edit on Visco. And in this photo, I used the C1 filter because I love how summery um, it makes the photo look and sometimes I just eyeball it actually most of the time I eyeball it so you'll see me putting up the saturation here and then putting up the highlights and as well as the shadows and you'll see me playing with the temperature and the tints and sharpening the photos and sometimes actually most of the time putting grain in the photos so basically that's how I edit on Visco. Wow. 
What I also love about Visco is their grain feature. There's something about it that makes a photo look good and more vintage-ish. So if ever I want to put a little bit of grain in my photos, I definitely use Visco for that. So third app that I use, actually apps, it's Anum. Unum or Planoli. They're almost the same. This is not an editing app, by the way. This is like a feed planner app. I rarely use this nowadays as well, guys. But sometimes if I'm going out or I'll be busy for a specific time and I need to post a specific post in that specific time, I use these apps to plan my feed and also to schedule those posts that I'm going to be posting. So by the way, these apps that I'm mentioning in this video are all free so you can download it and use it whenever you like. So for the will be Snapseed and this is my current favorite editing app. Since I don't really edit or put filters that much in my photos nowadays, I definitely like using this especially when I just want to adjust the brightness, exposure, and contrast of my photos. You can either use the select feature or the brush feature to edit your photos. It really depends depends on the area that you want to edit in your photo. So this is how I edit a photo on Snapseed. So as I've said earlier guys, I usually use the selective or the brush feature. So for this one, I'm using the selective feature and I usually put the brightness up. But in this case, in this photo, um, binaba ko yung brightness. And now you'll see me pulling up the healing features to soften up the image. And I also use this to delete some shadows and some objects if ever I want to do that in my photo. So basically, that's how I edit on Snapseed. So last and final app that I use is Instagram itself. This is actually my current favorite editing app and my most used way of editing my photos. So here's the secret on how I make my feed or my photos look a certain way. It depends on the photo but I usually decrease the highlight feature and I adjust the shadows a little bit. I increase that a little bit. Then I also increase the sharpness of the photo. I just love how raw the photo looks. And again guys, if you want to edit like me, those are the secrets. <laughs> Basically, it's really up to your own preferences, guys, because Instagram is really about showing yourself and making your photos and videos scream your name and it tells something about you. I also want to mention some of my favorite inspos slash favorite Instagram influencers. I love looking at the Explore page on Instagram just because I love discovering new trends and new ideas about fashion. Anyways, I don't really follow a specific aesthetic and neither should you guys because whatever screams your name, go ahead and be inspired by it. Going back, so my top 4 inspo slash favorite Instagram influencers are the following in no particular order. First will be Emma Legger. I love her aesthetic. Oh my god, ilang beses ko ba sasabihin yung word aesthetic dito sa video na to? Pero... Next will be Best Dressed. I love how unique her photos are and also I just Genuinely love her, especially her videos. So next will be Kelsey Simone. She's also a YouTuber. I love her Parisian vintage vibe. And last will be Ami Song. I look up to her so much. I love her clothing brand and I love her fashion sense. So I also love following inspo pages and some online magazines just like the following. For the weekdays, less is for females and core females. So some additional tips for you guys if you want to level up your Instagram game is to make sure that you show your interests your likes and your personality in the photos or videos that you're posting. For example, if you love painting, you can make an art account or you can showcase more of your paintings in your feed. In my case, I love fashion and traveling so I always post those on my Instagram. Also, another tip if you want your feed to look a little bit more put together, I suggest that you match your colors. Hindi naman kailangan na pare pare silaga guys, pero um, it's nice that you have a specific color palette going on in your feed. So, example, sa feed ko, I love um, more pastels, greens, whites, warm tones, and some animal print, and some nature. Make sure that you have variety of like detail photos, outfit photos, sceneries, um, selfies. Basta hindi mo lang crowd so basically, ayun lang yun talaga guys. I don't know. Wala na akong ibang share sa inyo kasi ganun lang talaga yung ginagawa ko sa Instagram ko. 
But before we end this video, I just want to quickly plug another account. And it is my friend's online shop on Instagram. They also have a Facebook page. It's called Outgrowth PH. And you can just um, follow them in this username on Instagram. Make sure to check them out as well. Anyways, I think those are all of the stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And if you ever have other questions, just leave them in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. I usually take time to see your DMs and to respond to all of you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!